Hi everyone, this is Donna, the Technology and Media Librarian at Upper Arlington Public Library. I'm here with a video that's just a little bit different than the previous videos that I've filmed. Um, today I'm demonstrating one of my absolute favorite applications that I use, but that I don't think anybody really talks about, even though it's incredibly helpful for those of us who work with computers regularly and try to demonstrate how to get from point A to point B when we're using new software, or we're trying to just demonstrate certain steps along a process. Um, or if you're ever trying to troubleshoot a device problem and you need to recreate the steps you took to figure out where something went wrong, this application is a hidden gem that is also highly useful. And that's why today I'm talking about Steps Recorder. Steps Recorder is available to you if you have the Microsoft Windows operating system on your PC or laptop, starting with Windows 7. Now here I'm demonstrating on a Windows 10 device, so if yours looks a little bit different than mine, feel free to reach out to me with your questions. Contact information is on the screen right now. Steps Recorder is a screen recording program with a bit of a twist. Instead of just capturing what you're doing on screen, Steps Recorder is also recording, as its name implies, a description of each action that you take, each button that you click, each program that you open, and it produces a written transcription of those steps as well as screen captures of each of those steps. Microsoft's support website describes Steps Recorder as a program that helps you troubleshoot problems because the recording you create can then be sent to another person who will help you diagnose the problem that you're experiencing. That's one of the top reasons to use Steps Recorder, to figure out where in the process something didn't happen the way it's supposed to. So if you're receiving an error message for an application that you usually use with ease, if you are attempting to open a program but it's not working, or if you're experiencing any other technical difficulties, Steps Recorder can save you all of the hassle of describing in detail exactly what actions you took to see what you're seeing on your screen. And to be honest, that's really difficult to remember, and it can be just as big a hassle to recreate your steps just so that you can describe them to another person, whether you're telling them or you're sending them those steps in writing. But another reason that I use Steps Recorder is to recreate the instructions that I use to get a good result. And the reason I say that is because Steps Recorder is taking pictures along the way. And as I said, captioning those pictures with your actions, even highlighting the areas of the screen where you've clicked. And what Steps Recorder records, you can save for later use. If I wanted to demonstrate to someone how to access certain features of Microsoft Word, or even if I wanted to remember the steps for myself because, you know, I record YouTube videos, I could record myself going to each of the different sections of my Word document and the Word screen that I would need as a reference for later use. And yes, I am plugging another program in the middle of this one because you can catch our Word Tips and Tricks video right here from the technology playlist, so go check it out. But for me to do that, all I would need is to turn on Steps Recorder. So let's get started and I'll show you how you can do that. We'll click in the lower left corner of our screen in the search bar and type in Steps Recorder. And as you start to type, you'll see at the very top of your search window is a listing for that app. So click on the app called Steps Recorder when you see it on the list. Now, once Steps Recorder is open, I'm gonna move this window to the lower right corner of the screen. It's not required to do that. The only reason I like to move Steps Recorder itself out of the way of my main screen view is because I need to concentrate on the software program that I'm using and the file that I have open. And then I just need to click the Start Record button, and that's all I need to do with Steps Recorder right now. Everything else I do is going to be focused on the steps that I wanna create, in this case, in my Microsoft Word file. So in my example for this video, I'm demonstrating how to edit the text on a Word document to add headings and styles so that I can then apply a table of contents to that document. Now I have to say, it's a little bit weird to be recording my screen as I'm recording my screen. This is a very meta YouTube video, but I promise this can be really helpful in just going back and remembering what steps you take in a program that maybe you don't use very often, or maybe you get caught up in a lot of different examples and instructions, and you just want to keep them straight for specific scenarios. So once I'm done recreating the steps that I need to take just in Word, demonstrating just in Word, I'm going to go back to Steps Recorder in the lower right corner of my screen and click Stop Record. 
this point, you're probably thinking, well, that's nice, but where are the actual steps? What am I going to go back and review at a later time? And a list of all of the steps that you've just taken will appear on your screen once you stop recording on Steps Recorder. And at that point, you can scroll through it in its entirety. Now take a look through it to make sure that everything looks good. As you can see while I'm scrolling, it's not only narrating what you did, you're the user, what are you clicking on? What buttons did you click? What parts of your screen did you highlight? But it then gives you the photo caption so that you can not only see what you've done, but you get a pictorial version of it. And if it all looks good, if your recording doesn't share anything particularly sensitive or anything private, because you always want to be cautious when it comes to disseminating your personal security information, you can click the save button at the top of the screen and then select a destination and a file name for this steps recorder file. You can send it to the person with whom you're sharing instructions, whether you attach it by email or upload it to a shared cloud storage service like Google or Dropbox. You can keep it on your own device for future reference. And if that's the case, just give your recording a relevant file name. As I mentioned at the start of the video, you might also find yourself in a position where the steps you've recorded become the basis for an instruction manual that you can then share with others. Let's say that you need to demonstrate to your fellow colleagues or to students exactly how you were able to perform a task, and you'd also like to document that process for future instructions. What I'm about to demonstrate next isn't really pretty, um, and it does require a little bit of editing and therefore a little bit of patience with yourself and with the process but this will keep your steps in writing in a format that you can then use for editing at a later point. So what you can do is take the recording from Steps Recorder and then highlight it entirely by clicking Control A on your keyboard or by dragging your mouse to highlight all of the text and pictures. And then you can copy it by using Control and C on your keyboard. That's the copy shortcut. And then you can paste the contents into Microsoft Word or Google Docs or whatever software program that you use to edit text and images. Now, as you can see, the results are not, like I said, pretty or and they're not really perfect. Some of the text will carry over with a little bit of change. Um, but even if all you've done is preserve the screen captures of each step of the process you've carried out, you've already saved yourself a tremendous amount of time. And you can go back and edit the captions provided by Steps Recorder or write your own later. And now you have a visual depiction of how to do something on Microsoft Word or in Excel or PowerPoint or whatever program it is that you're using. And like I said, this part is entirely optional. If you don't want to go through the extra step of copying, pasting, and then turning this into a manual, don't bother. Just save the recording from Steps Recorder and share that file with the people who need to see it. And that is how you can use Steps Recorder. As always, if you have any questions, our contact information is here on the screen, so feel free to reach out and be sure to check out the description below the video because I've linked to additional resources about using Steps Recorder that you may find helpful or useful, as well as link to a couple of other videos that we've done. So if you are more interested in this Microsoft Word process that I demonstrated, or if you want to know more about how to name your files in a very relevant way so that if you have lots of steps recorder recordings, you know which ones refer to which processes. But thank you so much for watching.